Well, you want someone to go after ISIS money? How about the guys great at hiding money? Hi, everyone, and welcome. I'm Neil Cavuto. And Russia to the rescue? Well, think about it. When it comes to tracking down where ISIS gets its money, the United Nations apparently figures who better than the Fox to find out who is funding the hen house. But Charlie Gasparino says, bad move, putting our trust in a bad guy. Also here, Charles Payne, Dagan McDowell, and Adam Lashinsky. Ben Stein will be back with us next week. So to guess what are you first on this, you have serious doubts. Well, yes. I mean, you know, if you want a, a, a leader that's in bed with the mafia, which he, which he is, and you want, it, you want to break bread with him and lead, let him lead this sort of financial coalition to stop uh, ISIS, it's, it's one of the dumbest things in the world. I can't believe President Obama's allowing it to happen, but it fits with his pattern of not really having a plan here. I mean, this is, this is, this is getting at a very, listen, I'm not saying I want boots on the ground to, to defeat ISIS, but one of the things we could do is financial stuff to allow Russia the kleptocracy of the the greatest kleptocracy of the world to take the lead on this is totally insane. But um, we are already doing that, right? Well, that's why Financial it's insane. Stuff. What do you think, Charles? Well, here's the bottom line. President Obama, to Charlie's point, not only does he like leading from behind, but he really just has no clue on how to ha how to deal with this. And almost but would you ignore Russia's I wouldn't, offer to help? I wouldn't ignore it. I, you know, listen. I mean, who but knows I, better where but money I mean, is if we're, not, if we're not going to take the lead, but you have to understand, everything we've done with respect to ISIS, almost everything in the Middle East has been by proxy. <laughs> we fight proxy through drones. We left the ill-prepared Iraqi army. Uh, you know, we're going to try and patch up them now with 60 people. We probably will need troops on the ground ultimately but you know if we're not going to take the lead i'm glad someone is even if it's a crook or a thief we're, we're weighing the worse or evils we're doing that in syria who's worse isis well, or assad you know i'm a nerd Dagan, so i look at the money follow the money isis has a lot of money we don't know where it gets all its money we know it's getting less because in the black oil market right. oil has collapsed but we do know they get a lot of money uh so what is wrong with letting russia track this down I do worry, as I guess these guys are intimating, that, that it's part of the deal. We lift sanctions on them if they help us here. But, but that aside, What's wrong with Russia? Well, we have, no we have no alternative at this point, right? ISIS has a $2 billion war chest just from oil sales, reportedly. And who better to try and crack down on the mafia, which is ISIS, than somebody who's in bed with another mob, right? Because that's how ISIS operates. But you, but you, would trust, you would trust him? I mean, it's so but what, transparent. My, my, I don't, She's not saying trust him, but Putin. oil hands on deck. He's, the, Help, I mean, I he's mean, the mastermind behind a propaganda campaign that supported it, him in Russia but, and try to turn the rest but of the world he, against us. I acknowledge that. He is also trying to take eyeballs off his issue, which is invading the There's Ukraine. There's no doubt about it. And, you know, I don't think we need him. Well, and I, don't think, I don't think the Russian economy and the Russian financial system is not well, that sophisticated to, to, that we need him to do that. To Charlie's point, I will say this. We, it, that money's got to be funneling through Western banks. And, I, you know, yes. listen, I'm thinking Absolutely. These, maybe someone needs to call Credit Suisse. Someone needs to right. call uh, a BNP <laughs> Paribas. Someone needs to call these guys up and say, right. help us out. This money's got to snake through your banks at some point. Yeah, a couple of billion well, dollars doesn't fit in a footlocker, does there, it? There's a few ironies here, Neil. First, first, first of all, I'm guessing that Charles and Charlie are no fans of the United Nations, so I'm confused <laughs> why you even care what Russia they, is they, doing with the way, United Nations. The United Nations Second Human all, Rights, the United I'll, Nations I'll Human Rights left, Commission. I'm not wrong there. Second, second of all, <laughs> This was the week that the president said, you know, I want the authority to go after these guys. So I would say that the president is taking the lead on this, even if he's not taking the lead on this United Nations effort that you don't even care about. Well, the United Nations Human Rights Commission, which is led, which was once led by Muammar Gaddafi, I, I mean, you know, when you, when you start associating the United Nations... Thank you for with, validating with, with, my yes. point. Well, yeah. I'm just telling you, it is true. It, it, you know, it, the, the United Nations deals with a lot of bad people, and by the way, they're led by some bad people. So we should point that out. And we should also point out this. We don't need them. Charles made the perfect point. Western banks are, are we, we play, the U.S. government plays a big role with Credit Suisse, BNP Paribas, J.P. Morgan, HSBC. Do you think they Credit Suisse is going to volunteer information and say, oh, yeah, we wondered where that money was going. Uh, you know what? You know, you got to be a little tough with these guys every now and then. Okay. I mean, you got it. You got to put The question is, Charlie, is there any harm? Start. 
there's no harm with them helping I mean, out. But we shouldn't, we shouldn't. Is there any harm in letting Russia do this? Well, no, let no, them go no, after them. No, however, they no, like. no, we're not I mean, making any deal our with them. We're not, we're not saying we're going to lift the sanctions on them. Go no, have but, at it. It's in their own interest. Who knows better than dealing with, you know, Chechen violence and all the rest of terror groups and the Russians? And it could be in their interest to help out. But, you know, I got a Brooklyn Bridge for you. You want to buy it? I mean, Jesus. Well, at least it acknowledges. He's taking the eyeballs off of his invasion of the Ukraine by saying, I'm doing nice stuff with ISIS. Well, you did have a settlement by the end of the week. Who knows how long that yes. holds? I hear your point, but take it. At least it acknowledges the the sources of money and how ISIS is is basically continuing to build this war chest. And part of the problem is the rest of the world, they haven't done anything about it in the last year or year well, and a half. You, and so now they're sitting on several billion dollars it, at the very least. Well, why would you least. think the country with the least sophisticated it's banking system? It's not just Russia. It's Russia and all the other member nations. I, could. I just think, though, the idea that America won't has not right. taken a lead on this is exactly. scary. Stuff. I mean, you talk about emboldening. Well, the lead on on following the money. No, well, the, the lead, lead on the lead in crushing thing. ISIS. They absolutely. We saw we saw Jordan, a country well, what would you want with the military of New Hampshire. They they buckled up. The president put on a vest. He got into an F-16 and they dropped. But he doesn't bombs. know how to fly it. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the president of okay, Jordan. Right. But here's the bottom line. I'm just saying he does. We're, we're too wishy-washy. We really are. This we're so we're so weak on this. We're emboldening the enemy. And when the you're idea, emboldening what up to 10,000 troops on the ground, that's absolutely. what generals recommend. Really, absolutely. Okay. Listen, why? Let's why, finish if, it once and for all. If, Let's finish it. If Eric Holder can like hold the feet to the fire of every major bank that does does business in this country for stupid stuff, why can't he go out and and pressure big banks around the world that do business in the U.S. to stop ISIS? It makes no sense. How do you know he isn't? How do you? Because because knowing him, he'd be bragging about it if he was. Yeah, but he has a nickname for being <laughs> a were. duck. You know. Well, that's a whole other thing. Um, Adam, here's what I'm wondering. Looking at this now, let's say Russia's already involved, trying to track this money down, see where it is, and they they have no more luck than we have had. Looking at it, something is funding this this group, not just oil, but we do know that they get it from kidnappings and, all, and ransoms and all that. But. Um, there's also talk of an underground network that's you know populated by the Saudis and the Kuwaitis, the, the the people we think are our friends. What if we discover that this money network uh, touches to the very allies we think are our buddies in the region? Well, I, I think it's highly likely, by the way, but it may not be that straightforward. You know, it may be some elements within within Saudi Arabia, for example, and well, that's, that's what makes been the this case, sort of though, thing right? so complicated. We all, we've known for a long time of these elements, right? Absolutely, but that, that, that doesn't make the solution easy. In other words, so do we say, hey, guess what? We're done with you guys. Well, we can't be done with them, and that's what makes geopolitics so complicated. I think we will degrade them, by the way. They, they are on the downward slope, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen tomorrow. But what you are saying here about Charles and Charlie is that their hatred is blinding them to finding a hatred solution. Their hatred of Russia is blinding them My, to find a solution. My barber's Russian. <laughs> Okay, well, that, I that, like Russians. That sounds that <laughs> no, little. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's more disdain for the fact that we have really given up our role as the leader of the world, and the world is paying a heavy price for it. All right, we're going to take a quick break here. Forbes on Fox is getting ready to go. Dave, what do you got? Hi, Neil. The president asking Congress for military authority to beef up the fight against ISIS, but is a congressional declaration of war against ISIS the only way to defeat them and protect our way of life? Also, the IRS seizing bank accounts of business owners who never committed a crime. Should that be illegal? We'll see you soon. All right, Dave, thank you very much. See you then. Meanwhile, what does that Staples button say? That was easy. That was easy. Well, time for a new one that, now that it's been targeted by no less than the President of the United States, that was sleazy. A post-it that could make you want to vomit. <laughs> 